Hi, I'm Dan from BuildExact, and this video is all about connecting your email and BuildExact accounts together. We'll cover what the email integration is about, why you would want to connect, and info on how to get that connection done. So firstly, what's it all about? Well, the email integration feature allows your BuildExact account and your email account to work more closely together which is awesome because it means that email replies from customers or contacts like suppliers or contractors can come back into BuildExact, which allows us to keep better records of email conversations. Connecting your email also means that you're sending email via an actual email account instead of BuildExact. So the overall experience is improved with the ability to CC or BCC, for example. One question we often get straight away is, will BuildExact grab all my emails from my email account and show them in BuildExact? And the answer is no. Uh, what we're doing here is bringing in emails that match that of a customer or contact. And if it doesn't, then it's nothing to do with us. The way it's been put together is that you can connect one email account for every user that you have on BuildExact. So if user one sends and receives an email to a customer and then user two sends and receives an email to a customer, all that will be logged in BuildExact. This means if someone in the business goes on holiday or takes a sick day, everyone else can still be up to speed with the communication, which is solving a massive problem for a lot of businesses. If you use up all your user email connections, but still need to connect more inboxes, you can purchase additional connections. This is really handy in a few cases, such as where you have employees who don't use BuildExact, but do email customers or contacts, and you want to record those emails and show them in BuildExact. Another example is where your business has an info at or sales at email that's for the whole business and not just for one user. You can connect that too. And if you like, you can even allow multiple users to send emails from that email address. Sounds good so far, how do you connect? Well, it's actually pretty easy, uh, but it can be different for different email providers. Either way, the integration screen is where you'll start and hit connect and then choose which email service you wanna use. There is a full guide on this in the link below this video and I highly recommend going through that when you first connect because it literally goes through the connection step by step and will answer a lot of questions. Thanks a lot. If you have any questions for us, do let us know.